Hi, Sark Centeno, and this is my CCI and nerve series. And today we're going to get into the superior cervical sympathetic ganglion. And you can see below that it lives right in front of the C2 transverse process. So if you've got C1, C2 instability due to failure of the deep internal ligaments, the alar accessory ligaments, then that superior cervical sympathetic ganglion can get irritated. Now, what happens when this nerve gets irritated? Lots of things. That includes pupillary dilation, which can cause uh, blurry vision, uh, tearing in the eyes or abnormalities with tearing in the eyes, changes in blood pressure, like issues with POTS, uh, changes in salivation, uh, problems in your thyroid gland, and even eyelid drooping. So as you can see, a lot goes on when this superior cervical sympathetic ganglion gets irritated. Now, how do you fix that? Well, you fix the craniocervical instability. In this case, if you're gonna do that through injection, you have to directly inject the ALR and accessory ligaments. That can be done through that PICL procedure. And if you reduce that instability, you can reduce the ongoing irritation or beat up of this critical nerve plexus. So hopefully this answers some questions about the deep nerves that can make CCI patients miserable. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Hey, get this out to more patients by like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks so much.